I'm tired of working with this pervert right here. Because I know why people called in. It wasn't because the girls were naked. They were just ugly. That was it. Well, they were day dancers. Yeah. <laughs> with the day shift over there. We didn't get the A team. It wasn't the A team from No, Sugars. Mr. T was here. No. It was the day team from Crazy Lady. Uh -huh. Well, it could have been worse. It could have been from Joy. Well, no. It's Williamson County, isn't it? Williamson County up in Michael Delphia. <laughs> Rock us round rock. Just south of Williamson yeah, County. No, this is our art special. We have an art show. You art know, show. We, we're, we're doing our art series now. We're, we're trying to be more serious here. I thought naked breasts were art. I did too. The earliest art. Look at some of the greatest artists of all time. Some of the greatest artists of all time. There was all always... those models to take off that clothes. Well, There's obviously some viewers out there don't think that's art. Well, perhaps uh, when the models are licking each other, that would change the... The licking part, maybe that's not art. Uh, to, to, to sort of change the je ne sais quoi. Of the that's performance of, art. That's Thank performance you. Art. Mm -hmm. People pay big money for that. That's what we're trying to do, you know. You'll go to Sugars and pay $6 cover to get in there and pay $5 for a beer to see that. Here, you're getting it for free. We're trying to help people out. Uh, they had Eddie Gosling, you know, was at Sugars a few months ago. Who? Eddie Gosling, you know, it's just, you know, who has been on this show also. Uh, but uh, he has a different kind of act, so it's comedy a comedy so what standard. What are you trying routine. to say here? Uh, we've had he, people from Sugars that danced at Sugars on before. Oh, okay. Danced and entertained at Sugars. So, if you take your shirt off, suddenly that's bad. Well, perhaps we don't want Eddie Gosling on the show taking his shirt off, though. But if you get on the show and do bad comedy, that's okay. Whatever. No bad comedy tonight. No, we've got an art show. We've got a special guest, a performance artist on our show tonight. I'm really excited about yeah, this I'll show. I'll tell you, this guy this here has pretty show. much started comedy in this town, I guarantee you. Yeah. He's on my show tonight. We finally found him, so let's please welcome him out here right now. The, on the Art show. of Comedy. The artist formerly known as Michael Priest. Michael Priest is here tonight, folks. Come on out here. Is he still here? Hey, hey Michael. Is he hey. running the camera? All right. Early secret handshake. Oh, thank you. Thank secret, you. secret handshake. How are we doing? He was working the camera <laughs> earlier. He's an artist. He does it all. He was working it all right. All right, Michael. Welcome to the show. Well, hi there. You're looking good, man. Let me good, uh, man. fix my uh, dude out here. Of course, I'm Ronnie Velveeta, my co-host. Uh, Curly, Curly Rodan. Curly Rodan. At your service. Curly. Right, Ready Curly. for the new millennium. Nice trail. Thou, thanks. I, I got these. Uh, got these at a special spot. Very it's a converted, uh, converted uh, gas station north of Waco. Ah. Not a natural fiber in these. Exactly where you'd expect to find some trousers like. Tailor made. It's a tailor made polyester from from England. <laughs> well, that's the finest English polyester. Okay, it Curly, it's not your show. I don't you think it is. You've got a new suit, suddenly, you know, you're over there just chatting boys, away. Boys, boys, <sighs> Michael, the reason we have you on the show is like you are the very first actual onstage performing MC artist in this town, I would have to say. No, well, I thought Jim was. Well, he was before you, but is he still alive? I hear he is. Okay. Well, that's what I'm saying. He I was hope gonna, he is. You were one of the first, all right? Maybe oh, he was you. the first. You still got your hair. Right. There's a difference right there. Well, he didn't have any to begin with. Well, he never as much had as he hair. ever did. Well, yeah. He was one of these guys that started out looking old. Now he got older. Suddenly he looks young because he always looked old. Well, I sort of the Bruce Willis it. syndrome. But you grew into yourself. I guess I did. <laughs> you're on bad self. Either that or I'm the guy that ate Mike Priest. I don't know which you're one the guy that, You're the big Michael Priest. <laughs> Grown-up Michael yeah, Priest. That's right, the new larger A very large family inner child. version. It's the, inner, yeah, okay. it's the inner child trying to get out. But you moved to Austin game. in, uh, what, 1972? 69. 69. But I came back in 72. Okay, you came back. I had to leave briefly. You had to leave, and uh, we won't you go into that. how we met each other? Uh... Me? No, I don't know how I met you uh, down right at the there. Velveeta Room. That sounds like a good story. Oh, we were riding <laughs> skateboards in the uh, uh, student housing out on West 6th. <laughs> student housing. West 6th. Yes. With Rick Turner and uh, Tommy Bauman. Well, that's fascinating. That is a fascinating. I just, it just occurred to me. Tom <laughs> Bauman, early skateboarder, 1964 Mountain Climb Drive. That was the early skateboards. They were like steel wheels and just a board. Well, they were, they you were couldn't ceramic even turn them. wheels, but they were skate. If uh, you turned, you would fall. Rink, rink wheels. You couldn't do all these crazy stuff that kids do these days. No. These kids. Well, you could. You just <laughs> ended up a lot bloodier because there was no knee pads or helmets or any of that. Nah, we didn't need that stuff. In fact, we didn't even wear shoes. You wanted to be able to hold on to the board with your toes. That's right. No shoes, no nothing, just cut off. That's right. 
you know. These, you don't want to tear up your clothes, then you'd have to explain it to your mom. These kids skating these days, no fear? Then why are you wearing that helmet? <laughs> What's all that stuff What's about? What's that all about? I'm telling you. But Michael, I remember you as one of the early MCs from the Armadillo. That's Armadillo World Headquarters. Your, your performance career. Ah. Your <clears throat> MC career. You must yes. have performed and introduced hundreds of bands there. Maybe thousands. Maybe perhaps thousands of bands. A lot of, a lot of them. It was pretty fun. Millions it of musical It was totally nights. frightening to begin with. I was not prepared to be a public speaker. Didn't much care to. I was. Uh, you were just pushed up there. Yeah, I was drawing some some ads for the next day's newspaper deadlines, and uh, my boss came in and said, "Look, the guy that usually does the announcements isn't here, so either you got to do it or I got to do it, and I ain't doing it." So here I was. Well, that's how we got you on this show. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> and where Jim would dress up and do all kinds of wonderful surrealist poetry and theater. He would. I just couldn't do any. I couldn't. There was no way I could do that, too, so I just tried to do it straight, and it ended up being fumblingly enough that it was funny. It was funny? It was kind of a homespun, early, on the porch <laughs> kind of a deal? <laughs> yeah, I tried to do it straight. Kind of pre-Jim Swift? Up. Jim Swift uh, sort of built his career on the... I think that's right. You got a homespun, Michael Priest, well, Armadillo... I tried to shove it too hard, anyway. Wisdom. Wisdom. I don't know how much wisdom was involved. Well, of course, just working at the Armadillo alone was a lot of performance art, just uh, with dealing well, with that kind of ever, personality. Yeah, yes. It was amazing. It was a small handful of people trying to make as much fun as they could with a few thousand friends traipsing through their living room every night. And we miss it. You get used to having a couple of thousand people in your living room. Yeah. And I didn't think that would be possible until it was gone, and then uh, I couldn't stand, I couldn't sit down after dinner at night. I'd been standing around stages for too long. Yeah. Hmm. So what'd you do, just wander the streets? And pretty much, and when I went over to people's houses, everybody would sit down and I would go stand in the kitchen door, usually. <laughs> and bring up Frank Zappa. <laughs> bring up whoever was came. Oh, I found some great pictures of Frank Zappa yesterday that I forgot I had. Really wonderful. It's too bad this is television and not radio because we could actually show you some pictures if we had some. Mm. Yeah, that's right. There well, we actually got some footage from the Armadillo Bazaar, uh, the music hall this year of you, Michael Priest, and some oh, of the no. artists. Well, so let's go ahead and why don't we just roll that little tape right now, and then uh, well, that is we bizarre. do have some of your art, as a matter of fact. Oh. Let's see that tape. So let's roll the tape. But I did this for Munio management, and then later on I did it again so that it looked more like Larry. In 72, I did it with just a generic manager type, and then in 73, I did it so it looked like Larry himself. Well, they, may have, they may have copied there, you know, just yeah. what you did. Yes, sir. And carried on. I want to post your artist. Oh, you mean you're important? No, but here's Bill Narum. He is. Hey! Yo! <laughs> but we need to get Bill Narum on, on both shows. Oh, man. That's one of my favorites. I wish I had done. some of these. This is one of my favorite I yeah, ever drew. He must have worked really long and hard on that day. Well, it was the first one I didn't do overnight. I, I think I put about 24 or 30 hours in that one. Let's see it, Michael. Hold it up. In my opinion. Ted got real excited about this look and adopted it shortly thereafter. It was fantasy when I drew him like this, but then he decided he needed to start dressing up like that. He bought himself a gun, right? Well, no, he always had guns and bows, and he would use his bows live on stage, shooting apples off of band members' heads and things like that. Yeah, when I... Uh... 
didn't even know that was true. Hey. No, guys, we're already back. Yeah, we're back. That was Man, fast. that was fast. That was from the uh, Christmas Bazaar, which they have every year, the Armadillo Bazaar. That was last year's yes. Christmas Bazaar. That was the last one they yeah, did. Yeah, a few months ago. Which was the 20... Oh, last year's was the 24th. This year's is was, the 25th. Well, it was for the year 2000, whatever one that was. That's the 25th. Back in well, the last... That was the 25th. Oh, that's right. I don't know what year we're in now. Back we're in the last century. What do you mean? We're in the year 2001. 2001. You didn't know that? Spaceship Earth. No. It's the new millennium now. It is finally the new millennium. You know, we, that great party at Marshall's, that was good. Yeah, that boy. That got the sign of the change between the two centuries <laughs> and the two millennia. I wish we'd have got those... Dancers that y'all had on your show. You want to see the dancers? Yeah. We can roll that dancing tape. Those. We can't do that. I'm sorry. We're, oh man. We got you instead, man. Oh boy, and I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to disappoint y'all. It's me. We feel the human body symbolizes a lot of what art is. Yeah. The naked human body. See, yes. a lot of times artists get their inspirations, perhaps their muse from. Uh, muse. 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 The muse, uh, art, artistic muse. The muse, from a miz. That's what I was saying. From a miz. A miz. Yeah. It's, it's a, uh, instead of a mizzing, it would that be amusing. You get a miz. <clears throat> the sound of small cats. Look, it's my show. I'm gonna get rid of him. He's correcting me on my own show. Who is? <laughs> oh, that guy. Just trying to fill the uh, voids of uh, you know the long silences. You know, right. you know the worst crime in show business, Ronnie, is. Um, silence. Silence itself. So let's move on. Okay. Michael, you're an artist. I am. You are a performance artist. <laughs> well, I have been. You have been. And you're also a poet, right? <laughs> <laughs> if I'm a poet, a songwriter, you're the only poet. one that thinks so. Singer, songwriter, poet. I don't remember that part, but I could be, I suppose. This is what this Free show verse. is about. <laughs> this is Would about you like art. one of your poems? I would if I only knew any. I don't if know. I only any. had a poem. I, uh, I can't remember I my poems. Think of a poem That's why I write mine day, down. I, I can't remember them. I can't think of any poems. I don't know any. There's one with a Nantucket. <laughs> I, I don't girl remember in that Nantucket. one. Okay, let, let me ask you this. Okay, okay ask me that. Right. Of all the bands you ever introduced, who would you say perhaps maybe inspired you? Oh, well, all of them were just knocked. Out. Well, let's but, just narrow I it mean, down to like ten or twelve thousand. Okay then. Well, we did. We did bring. We did bring Sp Bruce Springsteen to Texas oh, yes. for the very first. That's it, time. Springsteen. And the you do that. That was pretty amazing. The, the Bruce Springsteen poster, folks. It's Actually, Jim did the poster for the very first show. Oh, well, we yeah, the. Uh, and I got to do the poster for the second show, which didn't happen. But then they used it for the third show, which did happen. Uh, all but those which I couldn't be at. Items. Anyway, it was all very complex, and I, I was <laughs> afraid that rock and roll might have killed itself and uh, that guy busted out there and proved to us that not only was it not dead, it was probably better than it ever was. And uh, I just saw him again this year and and uh, man, he's he did it to me again. The guy is amazing. He's grayer. And you drew that poster, the Springsteen enough. poster, which went on to become uh, a classic. Well, I'm, I'm glad it did. I wish I had some of them. And they're selling for like $5,000 each now. I wish I could save mine. Yes, that's true, if you can find them. That's right. You know, Franklin doesn't have any of his old posters. Do well, you have any of the old we, posters? I have a few. Uh, invariably, the popular ones get gone because everybody that asks for one gets one. And uh, uh, now that they're worth some money, I don't have any. Go figure, folks. So you people out there watching the show tonight, when you see Michael Priest, give him money. Please. If not money, at least his old posters back to him. That's right. He helped create the if world. If you've got two, live. give me one. I'd do the same for you. Not the one with the pinholes in the corner. No, either. no, I like the ones with the pinholes. Oh, in fact, do? we've tried and tried and tried to make the uh, collectors and the museum people understand that they were designed to be advertising. So if they have tape marks and pinholes in them, and people still have them, like that means they served their purpose, and they've still been cared for and cherished and well, subsequently should be worth a lot more money. It's like a patina on a bronze statue. Exactly, precisely correct. Well, there you Rodin. go. This may have now, possibilities as an artistic show yet. Uh, well, and if it was there a nude statue, uh, we couldn't show it on the show because we got that letter. That's true. We got that letter we can't show. Boy, it's a good thing we're not showing posters. I never got to draw any naked ladies on my posters, but uh, uh, Ronnie's got this friend, Carrie On, who does posters with naked girls on them. I've seen them. 
Hmm. Well, it's, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's what the public wants, we feel. That's no art here. No art here. Ah, oh, I wish Jim had told us the no art here story. The no art here story. Man, we have to have him on again. That's one of my favorite stories. Well, why Jim. don't you go ahead and tell it then? Well, I can only tell what I heard, but <laughs> there was a time That's when Jim Franklin had the Ritz Theater on 6th Street. Oh, yeah. And it was magnificently wonderful because yeah. they had no money, but they had lots of hippies and lots of time, and they completely repainted the place. <laughs> just beautiful Texas kind of deco with little flourishes of cacti and armadillos here and they're very tasteful they even painted the ceiling and painting the ceiling of a theater whose floor is like this and whose ceiling is hundreds of feet above is no small feat especially for hippies and they got it all done it was wonderful but of course it takes money to keep those things going uh, the uranium savages were born there many noteworthy events happened there but when it was all done, some uh, local theater folks got it. It was open for 10 months. 10 months? 10 months. 10, is that all? And From October the, to July. The new folks decided to paint it all over the same color of yellow-brown. Mm -hmm. Everywhere. They paint over all those beautiful murals. Murals, public and Incredible, art. incredible murals. And it was so tastefully done. And then they painted it kind of henshit brown, except for a small bluebird in the entryway which I think your friend Carry On may have been the actual author It was a lovely of. bird. A tiny little blue bird. It was harm no one. No, it, uh, it was just, but they liked they it. saved that for some and, and reason. And Jim had reason to come back to 6th Street one day and he saw what they had perpetrated <gasps> on the, at least the entryway. And so he got in, he poked around a little bit and saw what they had just decimated the murals completely. Came back out and there was the little blue bird and he went to the lady who was working at the uh, <laughs> at the uh, ticket booth, and he said, pardon me, but what happened to the murals? And she said, oh, we didn't like them. So we painted them out, and he said, well, why did you leave the bluebird? And she said, well, it's cute. Cute. So Jim walked across the street to the Rexall drugstore and got a can of spray paint and came back and sprayed out the little bluebird and wrote, no art here. No right art. Next to no it. art here. And that story still makes the hair stand up on the back of my neck. And uh, Makes me proud to know him. It's uh, <laughs> sort of he gave them the bird. And if you Amen. notice this, at the Ritz Theater, there's still no art there. There's still no damn art. There's a bunch the of Ritz pool theater. tables. Actually, there is some wonderful art there, but it's carefully preserved under a 32nd of an inch of white lead paint and uh, uh, assorted other layerings. Scrape it away, it might be there. Yeah, yeah. Good luck scraping. That's where most of my murals are these days, you know. Well, they're I well preserved. Paint. I have several hundred thousand square feet of murals in Austin preserved in that very way, except for the ones that have been bulldozed. But that's another show. Which may be part of the topsoil now. It's a special <laughs> bulldozer show. <laughs> I don't think, if they won't let you have naked girls, they are not going to let you have bulldozers. Remember the all... I don't know, they like people firing guns on lower tier exits. I they did? They have people shooting guns off. Yeah, you can, okay. you, you can be a Nazi or a Klansman. That, there's no problem there. Okay. Uh, no, you can, you, can, you, can, you can hate people of a different race. You know, you can I see. talk down the government all you want, but... Uh, you but know, no TNA. But no, uh, no well, nipples. No, that's, well, especially that's with the the, yeah, um, that, you know, I was going to get cable, but now I don't know. Of course, I remember, Ronnie, of course, you, you seem to be smiling when you got your triple Brumsky. My what? Your triple Brumsky. It was like six breasts all around Ronnie's face. Oh. It, was, it was a lovely, it was a, it was a nice composition. I'm you glad know. you defined that I for appreciate us. I wasn't familiar with the term, ladies. Did you see there? You didn't know that this was an educational show. No. Well, we can't show it. You've just learned the term triple Brumsky. And triple what does Brumsky. that mean? Uh, it's, it's uh, uh, you know, the, the breasts is breast. rubbed against the faces is... Just Triple. surrounded. So surrounded. that's three yeah, pairs. It was like he was framed, his head was framed with, with the three three pairs of a breast. Small, medium, and Man. large. Man, I want to see this tape. Let's roll that uh, tape. All right, then. It'll be the... Uh, um, I don't think we can. It'll be the... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the we'll have to do a pirate tape coming You've off the website. You've got to watch our Ronnie Velveeta after hour show at between <laughs> 2 and 4 a.m. <laughs> that's right, Velveeta uh, after hours. Velveeta after or hours. Or cheese. We like to call it RVAM. R we like to call it. AM. That's very good. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. RV AM. It's between 2 and 4. You can catch this Naked Lady show we're talking about, if you're lucky. So just stay up every night from 2 to 4 and watch this channel. I think that one girl had extra vertebrae. <laughs>
Man, I'm sorry I missed it, and now I'll never get to see it. But well, at least you got to come on this show because of that. Well, it was performance. Uh, that's why I'm here. A performance art of which you are a past master. Oh, I see. <laughs> we couldn't get naked girls, so we got Michael P. <laughs> yeah. And he's got clothes on. <laughs> but you've seen oh, many. Seen, you. <laughs> you have seen many naked girls. Being an artist, you've seen many. Uh, no, I haven't seen that many being an artist. <laughs> well, but... <laughs> Just I was surprised by money. that. I really thought if you were an artist, you got to see more naked ladies, but only in books and magazines, just like the regular. Well, shoot, we could rent those out of the library ourselves. I know exactly right. Why well, go to the I'm trouble? I'm very, of very, very disappointed. But uh, uh, the groupies just didn't line up. I think it's because we live in a town full of guitar players. That's it. They got them all. That's right. They get all the they girls. They get all the groupies. The art groupies just don't come to Austin, or if they do, they leave. Mm. Yeah. Or they're wearing those big combat boots with uh -huh. camouflage jackets. Yeah, Flannel you know, when shirts. I was a little kid, it was an insult to say to somebody, your mother wears combat boots. Now the kids would just go, so? Don't you yours? Too. My foot's asleep. Your foot's asleep? <laughs> it's dusty, too. Okay, Michael, perhaps you have some advice for the kids out there that want to get into the art business, show business like you. Uh, what would you like to tell the children out there watching my show? Well, if you don't see what you like... Make it yourself. Find a room someplace, Get abandoned around. building, empty lot. Uh, go back and watch old Little rascal shows and watch how they put on shows. That's how Armadillo happened most of the time. <laughs> and it was great. It's how the Ritz Theater happened, too. Uh -huh. And uh, some of our best performances have come from just that kind of desperate boredom and massive amounts of time and no money. That's like this show. Exactly right. I'm like the Andy Rooney of Instead lower of tier action. Instead of sitting around. How much you, don't, you don't whine as much. Let's watching, put on a show. Watching TV or surfing the net, get two or three of your buds and put on a damn show. And if it's amazing. If you just keep doing it, people will come around just to go, what the hell is that? And Eventually they, they start say, paying you money. And they applaud. That's Austin for you. It's the soul of right. Austin. That's how all this got started. That's a fact. I mean, uh, you probably can't imagine, but there was a time when this was not the live music capital of anything. No, it was just... Uh, I don't know what it was. The, it was the capital of Texas, but yeah, what did that mean? I mean I, when my first year I was here, it meant a lot of, of uh, crickets in the basement of the capital. A lot of crickets. Lots of crickets. A plague of crickets on the capital. That was the live music. It was just crickets. That's right. They weren't guitar players. They're just no. crickets. And all the groupies they picked up groupies. those crickets. Cricket groupies. Well, they would have, except that the crickets attracted skunks. And that made the groupies run away. Well, of course, skunks are attracted to the capital itself. Well, they're certainly attracted <laughs> to it when it's full of crickets. <laughs> I'll be here in a half hour. <laughs> uh, I think the show's about over. Yeah. Well, through. it's a lucky thing, too, and not a moment too soon. Uh, close on that. Oh, Lord, I don't that. think we actually got a show out that time. I'm sorry, you guys. What do you mean? It's one of our best shows in our, <laughs> our art series. Our whole art series. What I like the about? whole idea of an art series with no art. <laughs> That's my favorite part. We talked about it. We got the artist. And I did wear my shades in honor of being on the Ronnie Velveeta show. Those are cool, too. We Aren't those good? You. You look like kind of like you belong like in the Doobie Brothers or something. Jerry Garcia, sort of the oh, Jerry Garcia well, look. <laughs> oh, or that's Manson. Good. <laughs> Manson. I haven't seen Charles in a while. He would have had to put on He's in a twice environment. as much weight. So, folks, let's just hear it one more time for Michael Priest. He's an artist. He's an MC. He's a poet. He's all around friend of the Velveeta Show. Yay. Michael. Thank you, Ronnie. Thank you for having me on. Curly, secret handshake. Watch yourself. My foot's Watch asleep. yourself. We'll Your see you next time, folks. Here. Peace, y'all. Bye. See ya. Here's my picture of me making a sale to this gentleman. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, right
by way of Atlanta, Georgia, and I've been missing from the state for the past 10 years, so I need a little insight as to what this is all about.